Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to the vlog, Eric Vlog Time. I'm at the airport heading to Los Angeles. We're going to VidCon. Oh yes. Live young, live young, hit the throttle. Get some, get some, that's the motto. Get some. That's the motto. VidCon is the number one online video conference in the world, that's right, yep, for YouTubers. A water-activated light is attached to each vest. If necessary, we'll distribute additional light vests for children who weigh 35 pounds or less. Checking out the in-flight movies, and guess what I'm watching? I'm watching National Geographic's Apollo missions. Like, this is in 1974, so we're waiting on food. If you order either like a vegetarian meal or if you order a vegan meal or a halal meal, something like that, then you can get it first. So, but you gotta go to the website and do that yourself. But I kind of like ordering what, you know, their specialty items. Usually there's three things. So there was a pasta was one and then there was a chicken. So always a chicken. And then there's a pork, kind of a Japanese style pork with ginger. That's one I'm gonna order. I might be able to get two of them. Do you have the pepperoni pizza today or? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> you want to have a pizza so bad. I oh. have a delicious penne pasta. Okay, penne pasta. Penne pasta. Does it cost a penny? <laughs> penne pasta? <laughs> okay, thank you. It looks really good though. This is better than any pizza. There you go. And what up? What you say. Right? It looks really good. And then there's like a couple, like a shrimp salad and like a bologna or there's a brownie. Yo, there's a brownie and some kind of bun. This looks it's dressing and it comes with like silverware too. It's got like real silver. This is like space, space silverware. This is good stuff. Look at that. This is Delta. Not bad for Delta, huh? It's, just, it's a penny pasta. Very hot. Yeah, I tell you what, these cookies are amazing. You can get them at Costco. They're so good. Costco, they sell them? Uh huh. <laughs> Do they say Delta? Uh, no. They don't say Delta though. That's These things are amazing. All right, we're going to In N Out Burger. Welcome to America, yo. Where's the hamburger place? I don't see it. In and Out Burger. I got a double double, a regular cheeseburger, and animal style fries. Let's just dig in for these. A couple of these. A couple of these to start off. It's grilled onions, dressing, and cheese. Ah. Uh, Food porn, no. Food porn, baby. Oh. Oh. Double, double. This is mastery in burger making right here. How do you even get in for a bite? Oh. Nom, nom, nom. What can I say? Amazing. Oh. Got grilled onions, a toasted bun, two slices of cheese. The vegetables are nice and soft and uh, chilled. It's a chocolate shake. I don't like to use straws. I'm not really a straw guy. That's a creamy milkshake. So we're at the Surf Master Steve's place. We went, we did Bikram Yoga tonight. Tomorrow's gonna be early morning surf. Where are we going tomorrow? What's the spot? Trestle. Trestle's gonna be good. So this is some uh, some chocolate I brought back from uh, Japan, Steve, and it's uh, it's rice chocolate, which is nama chocolate means that it doesn't have any preservatives. So you gotta you gotta eat it pretty quick. So you just go in white chocolate. This one's champagne flavor. And this one's just regular milk chocolate. That was two pieces. Oh, so good. 
This is, I mean, it's as good as like Swiss chocolate or Belgian chocolate, I think. White chocolate. I just wanted one piece. It's so creamy, buttery. Oh my gosh. I'll wash it down with some IPA. This is my favorite beer, by the way. Mm hmm. <sighs> Perfection. Oh, yeah, we got waves. We got waves. Look at him. He's getting pitted. Oh, another one out the back. We're at San Onofre, California. Beautiful day. Beautiful morning. It's uh, just after 7 a.m. Got the boards. Ready to go rip it. Oh, dude. I just got totally pitted out there on this massive set wave. I was paddling. It was a huge set on the outside. I get up to my feet and immediately my foot just slides on the board because I forgot to wax it, yo. And then it's pitching, it's just huge, it's coming over my head. And I'm just, just getting down low, getting down really low, and I grab the rail and it totally just jacks up, it jacks up way over my head. And I'm in, I'm getting, you could have driven a truck through this thing, it was so, so huge and perfect. And then I just got, got down low and I posed on the nose and then it came over my head like this and almost closed out and then it spit me out, it spit me out and then I went up like this for the victory pose, like that, just like that. It came out, I claimed the victory and that's my story, I'm sticking to it, America Surf 6. You got some big ones too out there, right? Did you get pitted? Uh, yeah, and you know what? Uh, yeah. I had a lot better time when somebody told me that the fins go down into the back. Oh, okay. After that I started catching waves. Okay. Yeah, see like this. You got it reversed. Oh, okay, we're loading up here. Got the wetsuits, boards, melted wax. And then we're off to, what's the name of the place? Rubens? Pedro's. Pedro's, that's right. Mexican taco place. Did you get pitted out there today, sir? Oh, man, so pitted, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about your wave experience. That, that second wave you got was pretty good. I saw yeah, the tail I end of it. Caught the, the second wave of the set. Just yeah, did it down jack? The line, did it jack all up? The to, all the way down to the down there. Did, to did you get to see any of the green room or any tube on that? Any, how was it the was lip? The, did it pitch? It, it was all over me, man. It was all over it was you? Like, yeah. I was so. Did deep. you grab the rail or what? Did you have no, to grab the rail? No. no. Did you no Did you crouch down? No hands. Yeah. It's just mush. Did you see there. the light at the end of the tunnel? Did you, make, did you make it out? Did you get spit out? How'd that work? How did it end? Oh, I went Epic? all the way down the beach. Oh man, you're the man, dude. Here, fist bump. All right. Wave, yeah. Though. Really? Turning wave. Okay, cool. The waves are so tasty tonight, man. I mean, today it's yeah. so good out there. Welcome to Pedro's, everybody. Pedro's tacos. I'll show you the menu. It's a drive-through, but. You can also go inside, I guess. They got quesadillas, yo. Big 32 ounce sodas, that's nice. You can get a tamarindo Mexican drink here. Orange bang. This is real Mexican, this is real authentic Mexican stuff. Carne asada burrito with marinated steak, that sounds good. Oh, they got breakfast till 11. We got another hour for breakfast. That's good. Combo plates. Super fresh, soft tacos. Oh, best day of my life. They're claiming that they're the world's best tacos since 1986. Well, we'll see about that, shall we? Oh, you ordered from a window. Can I get a bean and cheese burrito, no cheese? All right. And uh, grilled chicken taco. The thing you don't want a mistake of doing is going through the drive-thru, getting the bean and cheese burrito, and then trying to eat it on the freeway. Oh, yeah, that's it's, messy. Well, not only messy, it's hot. That's how I am. Here we go, Pedro Tacos. Just put, this is a burrito. Should I have gotten a taco? Oh, you want a fish taco? This is what they're famous for, fish taco. Fish taco, that's it. Get a shot of that. It's got cabbage and a, a sauce called pico de gallo, which is tomato and onion. And then they use a white cream sauce on it and batter fried fish. Good, I might have to go it's get good. one. I might it's have to really get one. Good. This is the carne asada burrito, so it's chopped steak with guacamole. Looks amazing. It's a lot of meat, they don't cheat you on the meat. Wow. The salsa. Oh, man. Way to go, Pedro. Check this one out, chicken. Yeah, would you, oh, that's a, you got three shells in there. <laughs> Brian? Yeah, one. You gave me an extra. <laughs> That's awesome. Going in. I should have just gotten that, not the burrito too. 
Oh. No beans on this burrito. You gotta put lots of salt. Oh man. Yeah, should we get more? Oh. A bunch of guacamole in that bar. World's best, I don't know, but it's pretty darn good. Mmm. Juicy. Meaty. Marinated. It's perfect. Way to go, Pedro. Next item up is a cheddar cheese quesadilla and a horchata. You guys know what that is? I don't know what that is. Ken? Horchata? How would you explain it? Well, for the Mexicans, it's liquid rice pudding. Rice pudding? Liquid rice pudding. Okay, liquid rice pudding. Cheesecake. Quesadilla. Put it rice pudding. Oh, yeah. Liquid rice pudding. <laughs> Liquid rice pudding, no raisins. It just tastes more like a burrito. It's all cheese. I'm not feeling it. Pedro? Maybe it's a cheese burrito. Pedro? Quesadillas are supposed to be just flat. No? I'll wash it down with the hard shot on. Okay, little drum roll there, see what he thinks of it. Smells oh, sweet. It's sweet. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. It's got cinnamon in it. It's like kind of like chai, right? Like Thai tea. It's very good. We have them for dinner. This? this is yeah, Modelo. Yeah, oh, look at that. Pad thai. thai noodles, these are my favorite. It's Thai food tonight, everybody. The, tea, the peanuts are in Get there. Get this. Looks amazing. These are called, what are those called? Junk noodles? Drunken noodles. Drunken noodles. noodles. Yeah. I want it's some of those sprout thingies too. And it's like a beef salad. Oh, this go. is going to be amazing. There's that. No way. Look at this. Corona's got a new beer. It's called Corona Familiar. Let's see. <laughs> I'm not familiar with it. This isn't familiar. <laughs> This is totally different. They're, they're very strange. <laughs> Corona, no. The familiar one's the glass bottle with the lime in it. <laughs> Get it right. We're out of at Coco's restaurant here, family restaurant in uh, Anaheim, California. Getting ready to go to VidCon. Oh, yeah. Got to have a hearty breakfast. This is a Tex-Mex scramble. Oh, my. Look at that. Looks magical. Some fruit. Here's the dessert. This is carbs you got to have. What are these? So the raspberry pancakes. Hello, yo. Some toast, wheat toast. And I also did a video of Coco's in Japan, and I was really surprised that video did really, really well. People really liked it, so there'll be a link maybe perhaps to that video, Coco's in Japan. The menu is totally different. Anyway, we'll see you at VidCon. This vlog's about to get exciting. All right, we're in line to registration and waiting. Happily waiting. That's community seems like the main one. There's a lot of lines for community. Oh, creator and industries combined, I see. Okay, been waiting in line like 10 minutes. Missed the first workshop already. Registration takes way too long. This sucks even more because none of the staff knows where any of the rooms are. It's, it's just, you're going around in circles. I mean, the place is huge, it's hard, but you gotta find somebody with a clipboard and a headset. Those guys know what they're talking about, yeah. One of those guys. All right, we're at the strategy stage. He's gonna learn some YouTube strategy, yo. Finally starting to calm down here and relax a little bit. I know where everything is now. Not everything, but most stuff, yeah. But it's, it's a big piece of real estate, yeah. But yeah, you know, don't ask people where stuff is. You just gotta walk around and figure it out for yourself. That's the VidCon strategy. Yeah, lots of different rooms, lots of different buildings. What will you create? That is the question. I'm gonna create t-shirts, if that's okay with you guys. T-shirts, yep. T-shirts coming soon. Oh boy, so many things to go to. It's really interesting. I mean, some of them are interesting. This one right here, Industry Track. How to break through to a new audience. This is the one. Oh yeah, let's get in there. Yeah, brands. Oh, it's a panel, okay, cool. Let's, let's do it, strategy guy. All right. Hey, how's it going? How you doing, man? Good, good. Yeah. Let's see, I think I got a reserve seat up in the front. It's like somebody reserved it for me. Let's see. I hope they did. Yeah, we are off. We got a slow start, but things are rocking now. Oh yeah. That's my seat right there, front and center. Got two minutes to prepare. All right, let's do this. Who are these people? Oh 
Oh yeah, this is gonna be good. Full access and in this full access. Yeah, full access. Oh yeah. Oh. Nailed it. Nailed it. Yeah, that's me. Okay, so this is the Instagram what? Keynote, I guess. Instagram is here. They're gonna teach you. The title of it is Stand Out on Instagram, Best Practice Every Creator Needs to Know. Instagram. And look at this. This is like the most packed out room of the event so far. So I guess it's Insta now. Where's all the YouTube stuff? Instagram, man. All right, next up is a presentation by YouTube, Google. Neil's gonna speak. And this is an industry keynote. This is gonna be a big one. It's definitely gonna be a big one. Look at the size of this room. 500 people? At least 500. Yeah, packed. Blows away Instagram, that's right. Blows it out of the water. That Instagram presentation was weak. It was really weak. So we just finished up with the YouTube keynote and I wasn't feeling it. You know, he brought some guests up, guest speakers, and didn't really give us a lot of tips, but he did tell us some new stuff that's coming to YouTube, other ways to make money, you know, new platforms like the Teespring, the T-shirts, and the uh, Super Chats, and then channel memberships. Just kind of interesting, I guess. I, I could work on that some more, but eh. Meh. I give it a meh. So next up is going to be the neuroscience of video, how music editing and storytelling affect users, mm, or cracking YouTube 2020. Mm, uh, it's a tough call, man, to just decide which one, because they're both at the same time. Yo. That's not a blow pop. I haven't seen one of those in years. Oh, man. You don't have an extra one, do you? I got one right here for no you. No way. I swear. It's the best day of my life. Thank oh, you so man. much. Oh, man. Sweet, bro. All right. Cheers, man. Blessing, man. Have a good day. All right. Woohoo. We're back at the breakthrough stage. What's going on in here? Well, we've got a speaker. Oh, there's a speaker? On. Okay. Yes. They have a microphone, a speaker. Cool. These are amazing. It's best, right, when you get down to the gum blow puffs. Best candy on the planet. So this is the uh, speaker. She's going to talk about neuroscience, yo. Now we'll see how music, editing, and storytelling affects users. The next morning. It's 5.25 in the morning. I had to get up early for yoga. It's the last day. And yeah, I feel like a, a Zen master. That's right. Yes, we're doing 6 a.m. yoga. Let's get it on. So here we are. It's starting to get light. This is Bikram yoga. Yeah, this is a special. It's a 75 minute one. It's hot yoga. Got the water. That's all we need. Gonna work up a major sweat. And then one more day of VidCon. Yeah. Got to change from the surf trunks into the wet yoga pants from last night. The wet, cold yoga pants. Okay, ready to rock. Let's go do this. <laughs> Bikram yoga. This is the 75 minute version. Yeah, short version. 75 minutes instead of 90 minutes. It's still killer. Oh yeah, let's go do this. All right, that's pretty good workout. More like 80 minutes. It's only 10 minutes shorter than the other class. So I don't just you sweat just as much. Don't recognize any difference. It's awesome. We're at Taco Bell, yeah, breakfast before VidCon. Yeah, just took a shower. Oh, we're rushed. So day one of VidCon was pretty good. The only bit, main, main problem I had was this. It, the scanner doesn't work, so I have to fix this today. Hopefully I don't have to wait in line too long. That'd be a bummer. All right. Have a weekend, okay? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Woo -hoo. I have two breakfast burritos and a quesadilla. Oh yeah. Try to eat in the car. We'll see how that goes. Okay, here we go. Next up is the burrito. <laughs> I forgot to show you the quesadilla because I was just so hungry I just ate it. Forgot to film it. There's a sausage burrito from Del Taco. Get to Del Taco. They got a new thing called Free, free, free Shavaka Do. Free Shavaka. Breakfast burrito, so it's got egg. Mmm. Yeah. That's meaty. Mmm. Good eats. Yeah. Here's to breakfast in the car. What's that? That's an egg McMuffin. He sausage McMuffin. He's got. He looks happy. Happy, happy. Eating in the car. Welcome to Southern California. <laughs> Lots of fun and games at the VidCon. There it is. This is the main entrance. Anaheim Convention Center, VidCon. A lot of stuff to do here. My keynote is at 10, so it's 5 to 9 right now. I think I'm all prepared. Yeah, just got to tell people how to get more subscribers. Duh, that's easy. And then my juggling performance is right here. This is going to be at 11 o'clock. They're already gathering. I should just start early. And I'm allowed to pass a hat. That's a cool thing. So I can collect tips. 
All right, here we are at the YouTube booth. These guys. You're the CEO, right? Yes. I'm Eric Surf Six. Can uh, can you check me in? My keynote's at 9:30, so I just wanted to have a little quick look. It costs $800 to do the industry track here at VidCon, right? I got the special badge, but it doesn't really get you anything. It gets you into these keynote you know speeches and stuff but it's not worth it if you guys come here go community or go creator right because it's way cheaper yeah industry only if you want the inside secrets it rocks all right so we're inside vidcon and i just got a channel review done at tube buddy these guys are the bomb yeah so my overall score was a 77 similar channels are 58 youtube average is 55 i'm at a 77 all right guess we'll we'll take that but i need better thumbnails Anybody out there can make thumbnails? Can anybody? That's a question. If you can, let me know. I'm going to hire somebody that can make thumbnails to do a bunch of thumbnails for me. I need to redo a bunch of my thumbnail images. Let me know in, in the comments if you can do them or email me, ericsurf6 at gmail.com if you're interested in making me some thumbnail images and you're good at it. Yeah, got to be good at it. So this is the first workshop of the day for, not workshop, it's a, I don't know, keynote. Growth hacking with YouTube Studio. Hacking, that's what I'm all about. Let's go hack it. Or recognize it as something that is familiar to them. So I think about trying to reframe videos in a way that is like more familiar and more appropriate to like the current uh, audience. Okay, so what did I learn from that one? It's all about the thumbnails. The better your thumbnail image looks, the better that your click rate your click-through rate is going to be, and that helps your watch time overall, or averages, or ah. Anybody want to help me with thumbnails? Job pays. All right, the next presentation is this one. Oh, we're going social media. Up your game on Instagram and Facebook. New tools for creators. All right, let's do it. Mom, Dad, stop, you're embarrassing me. It's just lunchtime here at VidCon. What does a VidCon launch look like? Today is taco, yesterday was submarine sandwiches these are tacos this is way better pretty healthy salad yeah like real authentic ones too you know you double them up i put way too much stuff but yeah four tacos looking good what do we have here oh it's a food truck well actually it's a funnel cake and ice cream truck good enough i haven't had a funnel cake in ages here we go oh it looks good it's hot it's very hot Got the powdered sugar on it. How does it taste? That's the question. It tastes hot. Oh. oh, amazing. Oh. Okay, here it is. I've just got one taco. I'm not very hungry. Actually, I just had lunch. <laughs> this is seconds. So there's beans, there's pork, there's shrimp, there's two kinds of salsa, double taco. This is Mexican street taco. And then, oh, I forgot to put, you gotta put some lime on top. Always put some lime on top if it's available. Yeah, that's it. It's authentic Mexican taco. It's also got cilantro on it and onions. Mm. Mm. Oh, perfection! There you go. One VidCon taco. Hey, how much you pay for that taco? Hey, yo, you know this boy. He's got his free taco. <laughs> 10th annual VidCon conference and yeah, so next up, next speaker is Daryl Eves. He's somebody I've been watching for a long time. Mm-hmm, basically he does like SEO and well, this one's about massive YouTube growth, metrics that matter, but he knows a lot of stuff. I mean, this is a pretty killer stage. He's, a, he's on the headliner stage, he's come a long ways. I remember him when he had like 20,000 subscribers, now he's like, I don't know, half a million or something. He's filling up a room. Okay, so this is the sort of central, Entrance, I guess you could say, people where people sort of hang out and gather. So, a lot of young people. So if it kind of, it's the largest online video social media event in the world. There's three tracks at the at VidCon conference. There's the community, there's the creator, and then there's the industry. So you, you choose which one you want to do. So it's interesting. I'm glad I came to it. I don't know if I'd come again. And there's you know all sorts of. You know, companies here trying to sell their products, and it's, you know, it's, it's kind of fun. There's, you know, a lot of creators here that do, in the fan, like, they sign autographs and stuff like that. 
a lot of people with cameras, but these are mostly, this is the um, community place here, so people, you know, the young young peeps. It is what it is, I'm glad I showed up, it was kind of fun. I learned some, some tricks, I mean, I, I think I got good value out of it, I was here for two full days, and I definitely got some good value out of the industry talks, so, yeah. So I'm going to leave it there, thank you guys for watching this vlog, and we shall see you in the next one. Eric Allen. Live young, hit the throttle, get some, get some, that's the motto, get some, that's the motto, make sure you sub Eric Surf 6, sub Eric Surf 6, 2, 4, 6, 8, who do we appreciate? You for subscribing to my channel, that's right, click on that circular subscribe button right there in the center of the screen. I mean the top of the screen and the pay uh, I can't read my writing.